Hello, welcome to another Motor Test Tuesday. Today I've actually got four motors to test for you. So, we've got four uh, 3650 size motors from two different manufacturers, slightly different lines of each manufacturer, so we'll see what the rated or claimed specs are versus what they actually do. So, on the right hand side here, these two, are uh, G Cool RC and on the left hand side of the Surpass Hobby which is fairly obvious. Now this Surpass Hobby here is the Classic Series which are the blue um, Surpass Hobby motors and then the red ones are the KK Series which are supposed to be better somehow but they're red. Uh, you can see uh, the boxes are slightly different, so there you go. So let's go through the motors one at a time. We'll start with uh, this one here. So this is a G Cool RC motor. It doesn't actually say uh, what KV it is on the box. So let's have a look inside. So this is an orange can motor. Not that the colour makes a difference with the G Cool RC. So this is a 4300 kV motor. If it will focus, there we go. 4300 kV, 3650. Uh, we've got uh, three or four millimeter bullets on there by the looks of it. Yeah, I think they're four millimeter bullets. And the wires, pretty nice. So that is the uh, first one, we'll put that one there. Next up we have another G Cool RC, this is a 5200kV and it's a 3650 again. And different packaging, different eBay seller, uh, there's the uh, label for it in there. So that one is a bit different. Um, it also comes in this bag and it is a little bit nicer, it's got a thing to protect the motor shaft there and silver, there we go, so that's a 5200 kV 3650, it's also got a small label on saying it's hot hopefully it doesn't get too hot on the uh, motor dyno all these motors are rated at uh, 2F maximum so they're the two G Cool RC motors, we'll put those over there. Next up we've got this Surpass Hobby Classic uh, motor and this one is 5900 kV, so this is quite high. Uh, we'll see if it actually does, it's able to do that. Let's open it up and have a look. Right, okay, so this is similar to the G Cool RC Blue Cam. Um, very similar indeed actually, it comes in a nice foam little box there, it's a bit better protected than the uh, G Cool ones but we'll see what the performance is like. Uh, it does look exactly the same as the G Cool one other than it says Surpass Hobby up there. The wires have the same braiding, it's almost like they were made in the same factory which they could well be being uh, Chinese, the font and uh, positioning is even the same um, so it will be interesting to see how those two compare obviously they're not exactly the same KV so we can't directly compare them now finally we've got this KK series uh, which is 6900 KV um, and you can see the box is uh, a bit different for this one but it's the same inside as the Surpass Classic, just different printing on the outside. Also got uh, black instead of blue on that wire there, not that that will make any difference. So there we go, this one's a red can, it's uh, printed a bit differently, it's uh, more similar in sort of colour to the uh, orange G Cool RC. So that is interesting. So let's have a look here, Surpass Hobby, 3650, 
6,900 kV, apparently it's waterproof. Um, obviously these brushless motors aren't really waterproof because the water will just go into the bearings, but there's not anything to uh, really waterproof on these. You just have to put fill these holes in and uh, put some grease on the ends, I guess, to stop water going in. Um, maybe around there as well. But whatever, we'll get them tested, I guess. Surpass Hove versus G Cool RC. We'll also be doing them against the rated specs or what it says on the motor. We'll start with the lowest KV and work up to the highest. So the test setup for testing the motors is the usual test setup. It's the Sky RC motor analyzer um, for brushless motors. We run on the Turnergy Nanotech. Uh, 5.6 amp hour 50 to 100C. This is a 2S 2P um, 2S LiPo. Uh, it works fine. It's just to power this. Obviously, it's not going to be under much load. Now, one thing to point out to start with is we've got the uh, G Cool 4300 kV motor on the bench, and uh, one thing I've just noticed uh, while putting it on the bench is these bullets here. Are completely different so we've got two there and then one here the other thing I've noticed is the um, heat shrink colors are in the wrong order so normally you'd have blue on this side yellow in the middle and orange on the outside if you look at the other ones um, you'll see that that is the case so this one is the wrong way around and you can see here they've replaced the blue with a black but the yellow and the orange is still the right way around. Uh, that's not going to affect the performance but it just shows that the quality control on these might not be as good. Why is this one here different to these two? Was it not sold properly at the factory? Who knows? Anyway, let is connect it up and see how it goes. Get the battery plugged in. Right, there we go, we are on. So first thing I need to do, as usual, is set the number of poles to four, because these are all four pole motors. Right, and then we're going to do the KV test. So we've got the KV there. RPM there, um, the voltage and amperage there, uh, there's the throttle at what position I'm at on the top, uh, we measure the KV at full throttle. So right away that's quite noisy, 2.5 amps already. So there we go, fluctuating a little bit. Fluctuating quite a lot, making a, a racket as well. I'll stop it there, it is quite warm. So it was uh, pulling quite a lot of amps there. Um, 7.4 amps, it got up to like 9.5 I think was the highest I saw and you can see it is around its rated KV so they aren't lying but even in that short period it, do, it did get a little bit warm it's quite noisy and it's using a hell of a lot of amps um, such a small motor even at this KV you want to do that Right, so let's go on to the noise test now, because it, it did seem quite noisy to me. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to turn it all the way up. Right, that'll do. 94 decibels. It is indeed um, very loud. That is not great at all, to be honest. Um, 
normally most of the motors I test are around 80 to 85 decibels so but I've never tested a motor with this high KV before so that could be why it is going quite fast um, but I guess we'll see what the others do so next up this is the 5200 KV G Cool RC this one does have um, all the same bullets so they're all the uh, more solid type just plug the uh, wires in here there we go alright we're already on four poles so we don't need to set that again so we're just going to go straight to the uh, KV test and see how it goes wow big difference this is a higher KV motor and already that's a lot quieter a lot smoother as well there's a lot less vibration seven amps again KV is pretty stable We'll stop it there. So it looks like it's doing about 5,090 kV, which is about 100 less than it's rated, 110 less, uh, which isn't too bad. Uh, 7.1 amps and 7.3 volts. So it's um, it's a lot quieter than the other one. Let's let's have a look at the um, the noise test. Yeah, there you go, it is a lot smoother. 87 decibels peak compared to 90, over 90 on this one. Next up, we've got the Surpass Hobby Classic Series 5900 kV motor. So, this is even faster still than the last one, which was a uh, another G Cool RC. So, I'll just get this clipped in here. All the bullets on this one are the same, they're the um, more solid kind of bullets, which should be a bit better. Right, that's from the last one. So let's go up to the KV and go again. So straight away the first thing I'm noticing is the amperage is a lot lower despite this being a higher KV motor and it doing much higher RPM. It's also pretty quiet. Um, it's doing about 5,800 KV. So I'm going to stop it there. It's a little bit underrated. It's supposed to be 5,900 so it's about 90 under. So it's not quite as under as the 5200 uh, G call was and it's drawing a lot less current as well which is good. Um, voltage is also a little bit better and you can see the overall RPM is quite a bit higher so you would think with a, a higher KV motor spinning faster um, that it would draw more current but in this case um, it seems a lot better. I can feel actually as well the motor isn't as hot so that is interesting let's measure the noise level the last one was 87 decibels peak this one seems to peak at about 85 which again it's quieter, the motor's smoother, um, therefore that would say this, this particular motor is better than both of these. It's quite interesting actually that the lowest KV has been the loudest and drawn the most current so far, because you would expect um, them to draw more current as they got higher KV and be louder as they got higher KV, because obviously it's spinning faster. 
So, anyway, let's move on to the next one. So here we have the final motor of this uh, 3650 Roundup. Uh, this is the Surpass Hobby KK series, 6900 kV. So this one should draw the most current and be the loudest out of all of these. But so far, um, the opposite's been true, which is strange. Anyway, let's put it on the tester and uh, see what happens, I guess. Get the wires plugged in. This one also uses the solid style bullet. All these are the same size bullets. The, the motor wires are about the same length as well. So let's get off this. Right, so we want to go back to the KV again. 7.7 .7 volts starting voltage. Build it up. Okay, so this is kind of expected. It is drawing a few more amps than the 5900 kV one, that's for sure. It is also struggling to get to its 6900 kV. I'll stop it there. So it's, it's not very warm to the touch. Uh, this one here, the 5200, was definitely the warmest when I took it off the bench. It heated up very quickly. In fact, it's still warmer than the other two motors even now. Um, anyway, 4.8 amps. That's pretty low for 6900 kV. And it was doing over 50,000 RPM. Uh, it's only missed out on its kV rating by, um, what's that, 42? Not bad. Uh, obviously I didn't expect a motor of this high KV um, and this price point to be um, very close to its KV basically. Uh, plus or minus 100, oh, well on the minus 100 side you'd, you'd expect for a cheaper motor like this. So that's that's pretty good. Amperage again is, is lower than you would expect. It was a bit high to start with um, but once it settled down it was... Uh, not too bad. So yeah, that is kind of weird that the... Um, oh, I need to do the uh, sound test as well, don't I? It is kind of weird that the uh, the highest KV motors um, were actually better. Let's just do the quick noise test. Oh, okay, so it's 93 decibels, but it's doing 50,000 RPM, so you would kind of expect a higher KV motor to be louder, draw more current, because uh, it's doing higher RPM. So it's still quieter than the 4300 though, which is uh, quite worrying. Um, this one wasn't very smooth either. I would say this one was the worst in terms of smoothness. In terms of amperage, uh, it didn't do very well at all. Um, it could be something to do with the uh, shoddy wiring. This one, um, 5200 kV, heated up the fastest. Uh, used a lot of amps. Wasn't particularly good either. This, um, well, this one here, the 5900 kV. Um, seemed to form pretty decent to be honest, I could recommend this motor. Um, I'd probably need to get um, a Surpass KK series or a Classic um, in the same KV as these two just to test out um, whether it's the Surpass whatever quality control even though they're made in the same factory or the same design, whether the Surpass quality control is better or what. And the 6900 performed pretty much as expected, to be honest. Uh, it wasn't mega, but it's not terrible. I mean, this the all of these motors here are under £20. I think the G-Cool ones were £16 or something crazy. That one might have been 17 or 18 and this one was 19 I think. So, yeah, there you go.
four motor roundup. Um, if you can, I'd definitely spend the extra couple of pounds and get um, either a Surpass branded Classic series or a Surpass uh, KK series. So I guess it depends on the colour of your car as well. You might want a, a red can or a blue can. They do do the Classic series in orange as well. So yeah, I'd, I'd go for the Surpass over the G-Cool RC. Um, these two motors were the best. Anyway, that's it for this one. See you in the next one. Goodbye.